Hey, hey guys, it's me, Charlene Mars. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something completely different than what I normally do. If you are one of my loyal followers, you know that I always upload makeup tutorials. But that is not the case today, and I'm so sorry to disappoint. Today, I'm going to be talking about my first month on isotretinoin also known as Accutane. I'm going to be talking about the side effects, also depression and anxiety, which is something that I do suffer from and I am currently taking medication for it. I'm also going to be talking about a little of my acne story and the products that help me get through this first month. So as a teenager, I had no acne at all, zero. My face was clear like a baby's bottom, I had nothing. And I started experiencing acne when I turned about 21, 22 years old. It started off on my forehead and then started migrating down to my cheeks, my chin, and just everywhere. I visited a few dermatologists, one of them was a freaking idiot. This guy comes up to me and he's like, oh, you're a picker. I'm like, excuse me? Listen, I don't pick. I don't touch my face at all. He's like, well, you're all scarred up and you shouldn't deny it. I am a dermatologist. I'm like, listen, I have cystic acne, meaning it's under my skin and I cannot pop it. It doesn't have a head. I don't understand what you're talking about. All I know is that it's scarring my face and I need to fix it. He was like, ah. I was like, you know what? He don't know what the hell he's talking about. So I went and saw another dermatologist who prescribed so many things to me. A whole bunch of antibiotics, topical ointments, and nothing worked. I changed my diet. I started drinking a whole bunch of water. Nothing cleared up my skin at all. It got to the point where I was just like, ah, whatever, man. Like, I'm going to have to just deal with this. But um, then, you know, a few years later, my friend Kat, her skin was clearing up like so much. And she's like, oh my God, you should go to my dermatologist. He's the best. He's a lifesaver. And I'm like, girl, give me his address, like ASAP. So she did. And I went and right away, he's like, um, have you ever considered Accutane? And I'm like, <sighs> I was super excited, but I was nervous because I do suffer from depression and anxiety. For the few years now, I've been taking Paxil and also Hydro something, something, something. I'll put it on the description box. So I'm, I told him, I was like, listen, I do suffer from depression and I know that is one of the biggest side effects. And he's like, all right, well, I suggest you speak to, psych to your psychiatrist, which I did. Psychiatrist said, Charlene, you are in a very good mental state. I think that you should go for it, especially since it is going to help with your confidence, which honestly, I don't have an issue with that. But, you know, it gives you that boost. So I go to my dermatologist and I have to do a whole bunch of blood work and a pregnancy test and the whole I pledge system, which I can go in detail in another video. And... They gave me my first prescription. He started me off with 30 milligrams. He knew that I suffer from depression and anxiety, so he wanted to start me off with a low dosage. And yeah, it's been great. So I'm gonna keep this short. Isotretinoy is considered one of the most effective prescription treatments to cure acne. Yeah, literally, cure. It can successfully treat even the most severest cases of acne. However, it has a bunch of side effects. And that's probably the reason you are watching this video. You want to know all about the side effects. I have my handy little journal because I've been documenting everything. The most common side effects for isotropinoid are dry skin, itching, rash, eczema, dry nose, nosebleeds, cracks in the corner of the mouth, dry mouth, dry lips, cracking or peeling skin, dry eyes, joint pain, back pain, dizziness, drowsiness, nervousness, depression, hair loss, changes in your fingernails or toe nails. Those are the most common side effects. Now, it clearly states to stop using isotretinoin and call your doctor if you have problems with your vision or hearing, hallucinations, thoughts about suicide or hurting yourself, 
depressed mood, crying spells, behavioral changes, angry or irritable, irritable, uh, irritable <laughs> loss of interest in things you enjoy, seizures, muscle weakness, severe diarrhea, bloody or tiry stool, pale skin, lightheaded, short of breath, dark urine. Okay, okay. So, I was documenting my symptoms every single day. I was freaked the hell out. I told my best friend, I told my boyfriend, I told everybody, listen, if you think, if you think by any chance that I'm acting weird, you gotta let me know right away so I can stop taking these pills because I am not messing with my mental health. But thankfully, it's been great. My boyfriend was like so amazing. He did a little spreadsheet for me. So I documented each day all my side effects and at the end of, you know, the 30 days, it gave me like a little percentage of um, the total symptoms and blah 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 so these are the only symptoms that i experienced during the first 30 days on 30 milligrams of isotretinoin i was thirsty super thirsty like super freaking thirsty five days out of 30 i had headache not talking about a severe headache seven days out of 30 dry mouth only once anxious nine days but like I said, I do suffer from anxiety, so that's like super normal for me. Um, I was tired two days out of 30, irritable three days out of 30. I did experience a few body aches, but um, that was when me and my boyfriend were, you know. Boop. I did have dry face two and eczema three days out of 30. So yeah, that you get it. I didn't really experience much side effects. Um, the biggest side effect that everyone experiences is dry skin and like dry lips. My lips were not dry. Like maybe a few times. I'm going to say maybe. That, did I even put it in here? Dry lips? No. That's so weird. Anyways, yeah. So I had about, I had dry lips, I'm going to say maybe three or four days out of the 30 days. Which is freaking crazy. Me and my boyfriend, we talk about it all the time. He's like, he says I have a problem. Like even before I started Accutane, I constantly put Blistec on my lips. Like, I would say every hour to two hours, I'm applying Blistec. Always. I It can be four in the morning. And I will not be able to go to sleep. If I don't have Blistec on my lips. Like it's an obsession. So he constantly tells me. Oh it's because you're always putting Blistec on. So of course you're not going to feel any dryness. But I'm like what are you talking about? Like that is the biggest side effect. But honestly I don't experience any dryness at all. Um, My face is a little dry. But it's not super dry. It's horrible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah it is. Besides that I'm good honestly like it's been really easy 30 days um so yeah i went to the dermatologist after the 30 days did the whole blood work again and he told me he was like listen we can either put you on 60 milligrams which honestly i think you can do or we can put you on 40 so i thought about it i'm like okay so i was already on 30 i can go 40 or 60 increasing half like Double, I did not want to do. I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? I've been doing so well. I'm still a little, you know, nervous. I don't want to mess with my mental health, obviously. So I said, you know what? Let's start slow. So he put me on 40 milligrams. Hopefully, he said, if I don't experience any crazy side effects, then we'll go on 60 and then 80, 80, 80. He said, we're going to do this for six months. Um. So, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, now we're going to talk about the products that helped me survive these 30 days, even though it was pretty easy. But honestly, I've been so on top of it. Like I've been moisturizing and I've been doing everything that I have to do. So I'm going to say that you have to be responsible. Like You have to stay on top of it. If not, it's not going to be a pleasant experience. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys. So now we're going to talk about the products that I use. Obviously, I use 30 milligrams of Myosorin, Myoricin, Myoricin. This is what the box looks like. And a whole bunch of information. Don't get pregnant, people. 
Well, women, don't get pregnant. So, yeah. That is that. Well, I've been washing my face twice a day with CeraVe's Hydrating Cleanser. That's the green one. And I like it. It's, it's decent. I've always used CeraVe. Um, normally, I use the one for oily skin. But obviously, I don't have oily skin anymore. So, yeah. This one is for normal to dry skin. In the morning, I use CeraVe's Moisturizing Cream. Now, they do also have the Moisturizing Lotion, which is lightweight. I don't want nothing lightweight. I want to feel moisture in my face. And that's why I use the cream. It's way thicker than the lotion. After that, then I apply sunscreen. I use La Roche Posay Cooling Water Lotion Sunscreen SPF 60. It looks like this. Focus. Focus. No, because you want to focus in my face. Anyways, that's all I apply in the morning. I tend to keep it nice and simple. In the middle of the day, my skin does tend to get really, really dry, especially since I'm in New York right now and it's winter. I get that blast of cold air and it dries the hell out of my face so then i'll apply more CeraVe moisturizing cream then at night i obviously wash my face with the CeraVe uh hydrating cleanser and then i apply CeraVe skin renewing night cream so that's this little bad boy here you know and this doesn't want to focus ah there we go it focused so yeah, I apply this on my face. It's really nice and hydrating. I honestly would really love to get in depth with these products and all of the ingredients, but I'll save that for another video, okay? Maybe for my skincare video on Accutane. We'll see. Lastly, this is the holy freaking grail. I... If anything, if I want to say why my skin hasn't been peeling, it's because of this product. This is the Belief Aqua Balm Sleeping Mask. This baby. Oh, words cannot describe how hydrated my skin feels when I apply that sleeping mask. I don't even think that you're supposed to be applying it every day. I think it's supposed to be like, I don't even know, does this even say? Dermoidrides and blah blah blah. But it's a, it's basically an overnight mask. And I apply it every night and it does wonders. Now my body hasn't really been that dry, but when it does get dry, I apply the first aid beauty ultra repair cream. I apply that on my hands and body. Um, my hands, I have to apply it on my hands all the time, like every single day. But my body, not really. I've never really used lotion on my body. And even after on Accutane, I don't feel like it's really dry or anything. Like it's fine. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, actually, this is probably one of the symptoms. I did feel like an extremely dry nose. And I know that nosebleeds usually uh, tend to happen when your nasal cavity is dry. So, I'm scared of blood. I don't like it at all. So, I've been applying like with a Q-tip, Vaseline. Um, I only experienced that maybe once or twice. And that's because the... Um, radiator in my room was like on fire it felt like i was in the pits of hell so yeah it got like super dry in here but um yeah the vaseline worked so yeah guys that's basically it my first month on accutane was fairly easy it was absolutely nothing how i expected it to be but um do keep in mind that what was easy for me may be difficult for you the symptoms that i experienced may not be the same symptoms that you experience Obviously, this video is for informational purposes, but nowhere near any sort of medical advice. Like, I am not a doctor. I don't know shit about doctor stuff, okay? I'm speaking from my personal experience. If you are considering um, starting Accutane, please talk to your doctor about it. If you do have depression and anxiety, please speak to your psychiatrist about it. Make sure that you are in the right mental space to start a drug like this because it is one of the strongest drugs out there for acne. So yeah, please talk to your doctor. This was a video to just talk about me and my side effects. And yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Please leave me some comments down below and talk to me about your Accutane journey if you are on it. 
Also, what type of videos are you interested in me filming next? I know I am um, planning on doing a how to apply makeup while you're on Accutane and, uh, you know, get a little more in depth on the types of products I'm using. And yeah, if you have any ideas, please let me know. Until next time, I love you. Mwah!